Wednesday here, and welcome back to another brand new episode of Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons. Today, we're going to be talking about friendship. I love my friends, and being an only child, my friends were like my brothers and sisters to me when I was growing up. And I've always had a lot of friends, yeah, maybe, but to have best, best friends, you shouldn't have many, many best friends. You can have many people that you know are friends, but I can tell you I have at least three to five best friends. They're the people that I call for for love, support, that I share my best moments with and know that I can lean on them for, you know, when I'm going through my worst times. Friendship is a two-way street. I make time for them. And no matter what, I think, you know, they make time for me. <laughs> and I think knowing that someone is always there rooting for you is what friendships are built on. But however, I wish friendships were always that easy because sometimes it could be hard. Sometimes you don't agree with something they're doing or saying and you have to figure out whether to be supportive or lie or tell them the truth, which is going to be a little hard too as well because sometimes people don't take the truth very well. Truth is, we all want to make our friends happy, so telling them what they want to hear in the moment can make them feel good, but it can also have negative long-term effects. Personally, I always appreciate the truth even if it sucks to hear it the first time. And a true friend will be honest with you because they want to help you grow as a person. And I remember this one situation where I was friends with someone that was, you know, not the nicest person. So when we usually would have like some gatherings and like there was people that didn't really like her, I would tell her the truth. I'd be like, listen, like they don't like you because you're mean. And sometimes when I don't invite you to places because you're not a good person to them. Like you're actually really rude and you disrespect them. So you weren't invited to this place. I mean, it's the truth. Either you change your ways and you become more positive or I can't invite you to people's houses with me. You know, if it was my party. Like she couldn't come. But if it's other people's parties and I can't invite her, I'll tell her why. And she's a lot better after what I told her. I mean, I'm the only one that's actually truthful with her. I don't care. I don't care to hurt her feelings because at the, at the end, I want her to know the truth and it's better to talk to them in front than talk behind their backs like the other people are doing and she knew i was right she knew deep down because that's her personality and she knows she says it and i think our friendship was stronger after that because she trusted me she knows i'm going to tell her the truth and she said thank you and she was she was upset but she was grateful at the end the following content contains adult subject matter including sensitive material and is intended for adult consumption only it may not be suitable for all audiences Therefore, discretion is advised. Lele Pons is not a trained expert, but is using her personal experiences and platform to create a space for sensitive discussions. So with that being said, both our callers today are struggling with whether or not telling the truth is the right thing to do. Mandy isn't sure whether to say anything after spotting two friends doing something they shouldn't have been doing at a high school reunion. But before we talk to her, let's give Dixie a call and find out why she thinks she might have been too honest about her friend. Hi, Dixie. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I just I just feel like there's something pent up inside of me and it's making me feel like a really bad friend. And I just want to put it out there and then put it out there because this is a no judging zone. You can you can say whatever you want. And uh, I, I, like if you killed someone, I, you shouldn't say it. But if it's not that, <laughs> you OK, say at it. least I didn't kill anybody. I didn't kill anybody. So like that makes me feel a little bit better. So we got the bar set really high. So at least it's not that bad. No, no but what it, what is it? What is it? OK, so, you know, one of those friends that she's a she's a good friend, but she's also one of those friends that needs you a little bit more than you need her. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, we all kind of have one of those friends. So she's one of those people that really I like her. I like her a lot, but she's just kind of like a disaster. She never yeah. has her shit together. She's always just like showing up late. We were lifeguards together for an entire summer and she would just like show up hungover all the time, just like puking in the trash can. And it's like we're supposed to be saving lives here, not just out doing just living our lives that way. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So that's just like a little bit of a briefing. So she was applying for this new position at this um, job. And I was like really excited for her because, you know, she's really been trying to level herself up. She went to college for, she struggled with going to college for a while yeah. to get through it. So she puts me as a reference on her resume for, for applying for the job. Um, and I have a problem with, I can't, not be completely honest with people. And maybe that's my downside. So I didn't even think that the person would actually from HR would actually call me. And then they called me the other day 
and they were telling me how so many people were applying for this position and that they had have had so many other people come into this position and they've just sucked and the company really needs reliable people. Um, and he was asking me if I think my friend is a reliable person for the position. And I couldn't lie. I was like, I just don't think that she is the most reliable, but she's really, really kind. She really puts herself out there in all other ways. I do think that she would be a good candidate in some ways. But when it comes to being reliable for a company, no, she's not. And the guy was just so kind. And he was just briefing to me about how so many people have come into this position that have really made his job difficult and I just didn't want to see his end lacking. But now my friend, my friend's end is lacking and she ended up finding out that she didn't get the position. And I feel really to blame and really like at fault here, you know, and I just don't really know how to feel about what I did. Well, I think you did the right thing. Uh, to be honest, yes, um, it's gonna it's tough on your friend, but you know, sometimes like, I feel like you should be like, I mean, maybe you're gonna tell her, maybe you're not gonna tell her, but you should be like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Until you don't change, I can't be backing you. Like I can't be backing you up like this. Like you have to change. This is a this is Facts. a push. Yeah, <laughs> this is a push. Like show me that you can. Like I want to help you, but show me that you can change and you can be better. And then we can talk about me helping you get a job because I don't. You don't want to look bad either, and you don't want her to get True. fired in the first week. She would though, girl. Like you know, like that she wouldn't have to do. Like I honestly like. I saved the position for somebody else that can actually like grow and actually help a company grow. Like, I also think that sometimes it's like, this isn't your calling right now. You know, like this isn't, you need to get your, you need to get your life together yeah. before you have this job. But I also yeah. really feel bad. I don't know if I can tell her that I, I don't know how to tell her what I said. I don't know how to tell her that it's really uncomfortable. I think you should say it when she actually gets a job, <laughs> that she's ha like that she's happy or whatever, like, or when she changed, you know? Yeah. And like, I, like when she realizes, like after she realizes that she really needs to work on herself and everything like that, you should say it. You should be like, this is what happened. And like, you can even say it, like, I was I was talking good. But until the guy was like, hey, please, like, be honest with me. I need people like my. I my, can't my, lie. Yeah. Like, you know, know what I mean? I when when like, someone yeah. like that tells you, like, please help me. Please don't lie to me. <laughs> yeah, like, right. that's when you. What the fuck, man? Like, that makes you a horrible human being. If you just like, yeah. you're going to make someone else's life harder. Because, you know, uh, to help a friend who doesn't she is not ready for the job yet. Oh, no, she would make his life so difficult, girl. Like the, it's not even in question that she would be able to handle this job right now. Like yeah. and she doesn't even know how to communicate yeah. and like, answer text messages, show up to work on time. Yeah. You know, like get her shit together. So I, I just it's just like a very uncomfortable conversation because I think that she might not want to be my friend anymore. She's like that type of girl that like would kind of maybe want to cut me out of her life if, you know, she hears that I didn't speak completely perfectly well about her i mean you said the truth you did speak about like good about her i did but i think that i'm the one that got made her not get the job completely you know about saying that she isn't the best at communication she would have been fired in a week if you did it because you you wanted to get the job that's another thing <laughs> no, no 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 did she ask you if she could put you as a reference did she ask you or she just did it she she did ask me. She did ask me and I said yes. And now I just like really wish that I didn't say yes. Like I wish I was just like, oh, like, no, don't put me as a reference. I don't know how to not be completely honest with people. I would probably be better off not being the reference. Did you know that you had to tell the truth right away or did you consider lying? I was going to lie. But then the guy was so nice on the phone. He was just like, I could really tell he was like really looking for a good candidate. And he, yeah, you know what I mean? And his, he, you know, when you can just tell on somebody's voice is just pure honest, like he's just like a good person. Like mm -hmm. I could tell this guy was like a good guy and look, was really looking for a good person to fill this candidate. And he's just had shitty people in and out of the these positions and is really looking for a reliable person. And he was saying that he's had he had these people put down so many references and he's really actually calling all of the references. Um, and is really valuing people's input to for these jobs. Yeah. And I wonder, is she like your best friend? I mean, as I was kind of saying, she's like, she is one of my good friends. You know, like I'm living out here in L.A. and I don't have as many friends as I do back home. So she's kind of one of my like L.A. friends that's become a really good friend. But she doesn't really have it together type of person. And I feel like I'm giving her a lot more than she can give me. Yeah, maybe instead of telling her what you said, you should just try to working with her to become more accountable, you know? Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. And did she ask you how the call went? Or like, what did you say? 
she didn't ask me how it went at all because I didn't even really want to talk about it because um, she didn't think that any he was going to actually call. She, It's like one of those things every time you apply for a job, you know, when do they actually even really call the references, yeah. really? They don't usually ever do most of the time. Um, and that's what's leaving me in the position where I feel like it's on me to say something because she's really like, I really thought I was going to get this job. I like don't know why I didn't like I really, really she's like I can see on her that she's puzzled of why she didn't get the job. And like it's making me feel like shit. I get you. At the end of the day, do you think uh, you did the right thing? I always think telling the truth is the right thing. You know, like, is, isn't it like I oh, like I, I don't know. My moral compass is telling me that I think that being honest, even though sometimes people feel shitty because you're honest, but like. You know what I mean? Like when you're dating somebody and they're, you're dating them for so long and you don't tell them that you don't want to be with them and then you just cheat on like it just honesty is the best policy. Like bad things come out of not being honest in my in my life and in things. But I just I guess the guilt that I feel right now because she doesn't have the job of the honesty. Honesty, I guess like not lying always kind of just makes you feel shittier. I think you should just help her by making her or like helping her be a more responsible person like help her yeah. do that i think that's better than just like putting in her a job that she's gonna get fired i think you helped her as well in a way i i agree i like that you're putting it that way that it's like i did end up like helping her in a way it might she might not know it right now but yeah you, you know you, like two weeks ago you were showing up to our other job you know like drunk so it's like you know you can't you can't be getting other positions that are actually serious positions behaving that way she's gonna look bad and then they talk around, you know? Yeah, of course. And that could that could affect. Uh, and, and, you know, and I don't I just I just want her. I just want the best for her. But I just. So do you think that I should wait to say something about the job situation or? Well, she's still a mess. I think you should wait. Yeah. Facts. I think you should wait until she gets a job. Help her get a job, you know, help her by making her like changing her. Yeah. And like never put myself down as a reference again, because. <laughs> can't clearly can't handle it. Sure, no, you should talk to her though about like how she can't just do that anymore, like get drunk and like show up to work. Friendships are really hard. Yeah, they're they hard are. when you want to be accountable. Yeah, but, but when also... you want to help them grow, you have to do some sacrifices. Facts. Well, thank you so much for calling in. I hope I helped. I hope uh, I made you feel better talking about it. You definitely did help. You definitely put some things into perspective for me, and you're just making me overall feel better about the situation. Yeah, you, you did the right thing and you know it deep down, but... Awesome. Thanks so much, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Have a good one. I think what she did is right. I mean, why would you put your friend into a situation she can't handle or he can't handle and it makes you look bad? It makes the other guy who, who wants, you know, like someone at the job to be good. He's going to have a horrible time. Your friend's going to have a horrible time. Like, it's the right thing to do. Now, I don't know how she's going to tell her. I think she should wait until the girl is actually responsible, until the girl sees that, yeah, I'm, I'm a mess, you know, like, until she sees clearly why the friend did what she did. And it will happen. You know, she she's going to grow up. She's going to realize the hard way. So hopefully everything clears out at the end and she understands why she did what she did. All right, guys, that was our first caller. And next up is going to be Mandy. And we're going to talk to her right after this break. All right, guys, and we're back. We're going to talk to Mandy now, who is a little bit too afraid of whether to tell the truth or not. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can give her a little bit of advice. Hi, Mandy. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm great. I'm great. I'm dying to know why are you here? What is your best kept secret? Well, um, my best kept secret is that I saw two friends hook up at our high school reunion and one was a married man and I don't know if I should tell his wife or not. Were you close friends with the wife? Uh, do you know these two people? I'm not close friends with the wife, but we did like kind of go to school and grow up together. You know, we've kept in touch through Facebook throughout the years. Close friends, not so much, but definitely like friendly. Yeah. Okay. All right. And and what exactly did you see? How did how did this happen? Um, this happened um, in a back of a car. <laughs> You're sure it was them? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Did anyone else see that at the reunion? 
actually one of my best friends seen it, and that's the only other person that knows. Was the wife there? The wife wasn't there because she just had their baby boy. Shut up. I'm not kidding. It's awful. Wow. Why would you do that? Like, this is a fuck, man. I know. I know. Listen, honestly, like, what what I would do, don't get involved, you know? What I would do, tell him. Be like, hey, I saw you doing this. You either, like, stop or I will say something. That's what I would do. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I never even thought about reaching out to him. Yeah. If you don't stop doing this, you know what I mean? Like... I will, I will say some, like, I will say something. That's what I would do. Yes, because, you know, it kills me. I see um, her post these wonderful things about him on Facebook, and I just, I want to die every time I see him. Well, he's not going to stop if nobody's going to stop him first, you know? So I think you should, I think now that you know that, you should go to him first. Yeah. That's what I would do. I think you're, I think you're right. Were they in high school, like, lover high schools? Yes. High school sweetheart. And maybe I, I want to believe that it could be a stupid mistake or something that's been going on. But I hope, like, I don't know, man, like, she has a baby and that's why I, I'm like, this is a difficult situation. It is. Because, like, there's a third person involved here. But it's it's still, like, still wrong. I don't want to break up anybody's family. You know, it, it, it's hard. I wonder if she knows. You know, there are some couples that know about it. Yeah. Another thing I can do is like take a picture next time and send it to someone that like that knows her, not her, but someone that might mm-hmm. be close to her, the friend. Make her decide what to do. I could put it on somebody else. I like that. <laughs> yeah, like you did your part somehow. Yep, like she's your best friend. Here, take this information. Do what you want with it. Yeah, exactly. You're her best friend. I saw this. I don't want to get involved, so I'm giving it to you. And it's you know you you decided whether you're gonna tell her or not. I like that. <laughs> I really like that. By the way, was that a woman he slept with, like, in a relationship, too? Or, like, a friend that you know? I don't know if she was in a relationship because she had moved away um, to a different state. But I do know immediately after she... I think she knows I knew because immediately after I went onto Facebook to do some, like, detective work. And she had blocked me. Oh, wow. Interesting, huh? Did she see you? Could have seen me. It's so stupid to do it in the back of a fucking car in a high school reunion. I know. Right outside where people can see you. It is so stupid. Like, you want to get caught. Like, I'm sorry. I think either either that or you kind of like you and your best friend and you put one more person come and talk to the, to, to, to him. You know, more than three. Because like, there's always this thing of like, if you do this, I'm going to do this, right? Well, if there's three people that know, what is he going to do? Because if it's only one girl. Three against one. Yeah. And what's great is, you know what? I don't have any secrets, so. <laughs> exactly. So that's good. Yeah. No exposing me. <laughs> yeah. And do you see him around town at all? No, but I always see him on Facebook. We live in different towns. But they're always, I feel like they're always in my face, you know, on Facebook. Social media can be the worst sometimes. I know. I'm sorry about that. It's hard because, you know, we we don't know if it was a one-time thing or if it was something else or if it's going on to this day like i don't know when did this happen probably two years ago i think handing it over to somebody else yeah i think that's a good idea that's, that should be it i i think that makes me feel feel good and then i can get it out and then i can just sit back and just be like listen i got it out yeah <laughs> they'll do, do what they need, they to, need do, to do yeah i think that makes me feel good yeah <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us. I hope that I hope I helped and uh, you know what to do next. Yes, you helped me a lot. Thank you. I feel like less pressure on my chest. <laughs> uh, thank you. Th- call us back after. You never know after, if you find out something else or maybe the lady's going to call me. Oh, we'll see. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye-bye. You know, if it was like two months ago and everything, that's already, that, that's recent, but two years has passed. I mean... You know, maybe he changed. You you don't know what has happened in two years. And uh, it's a little difficult when that happens. But I do think that she should, um, if she feels that guilty, and she, I mean, I would just, you know, tell one of her closest friends and put it on her, you know, and she she does what she has to do because that will make her feel better. But the friend probably will be like, why did you wait two years? Why? Like, you know, but 
it's tough. It's a tough because you don't want to get involved. But you know what? Um, hopefully he's not doing it. But I. But the thing with me is that at least I would say it to somebody like close to her. That's what I would do. I don't want to get involved. But but it, it, it's something that you should know. I really feel for Dixie and Mandy today, and I want to thank them so much for sharing their secrets. I'm going to be really honest here. I'm not sure what the best thing for each of them to do is, and I keep going back and forth. We've heard so many examples on this show of people getting themselves into hot water because of telling lies, but I usually think that honesty is the best policy. I feel like Dixie did the right thing in giving an honest answer to the man who called her about her friend. She did. She did do the right thing. In the long run, the friend will probably be much better off not getting the job that she wouldn't have been suited for. But the hard question now is whether she should come clean to her friend about what she did. It will definitely sting. So personally, I think that if the friend doesn't ask about it, then Dixie shouldn't bring it up. Some of you may think Disney was wrong not to help her friend get the job, and I understand that completely, but I also understand why Dixie didn't want to lie. There are other ways that she can help her friend find a job and one that's more suitable to who she is. Now, Mandy is in a whole different friendship mess situation. This happened over two years ago, and she said she only interacted with the man's wife on Facebook. Uh, that's, that, that's a tricky one. She said she was close friends with the husbands growing up, but he lives in a different city, and it doesn't sound like they've kept close after high school. Like I said, I believe in honesty, and when I heard he was cheating on his wife, who had just given birth, I was confused i was i was like pissed off kind of i definitely wanted him to get caught but you know it's been two years hopefully he changed and um it's hard i i I hope she takes my the advice that i gave her because i don't think she should get involved but i think she should leave it up to someone that is actually close to her to make the decision on the other hand if manny does tell his wife then she could be breaking up a young family and that might not be the best thing to do either I feel like she's getting involved in a situation that's not going to have any value to her and has potential to cause a lot of people pain. That's why I think speaking to the man directly is a better option. They were close friends growing up and maybe her reaching out to him will encourage him to do the right thing in the future if he hasn't already. We don't know. It's been two years. I also think another option would be for her to reach out to his wife's best friend because she would clearly understand the situation and the marriage better than Mandy does right now. And she's also someone who would be there to offer much needed help. It's a difficult situation, so I'm going to throw it over to you guys. My Instagram question of the week is, would you tell on your friend if you caught them cheating? Head over to at Lelepons to vote in the poll and let me know your thoughts. I'm guessing this one's going to get heated. So thank you guys so much for listening. Be good to yourself. Tell your friends you love them. And I'll talk to you next week with some more juicy best kept secrets. If you or someone you know are struggling emotionally, text START to 741-741 for a confidential chat anytime. Bum, bum. Thanks for listening to Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons, only on Spotify in partnerships with Shot Studios. The Shot Studios original team includes creators John Shahidi and Sam Shahidi, my lovely producer Belinda Mercer, and audio editor Stephen Colon. From Spotify Studios executive producers Javier Pinot, Liz Gailey, Gina Delvac, and Danny Trebodge. And a special thanks to Dan Behar, Jessica Molina, Francisco Quijada, and Julio Pabon. I'm Lele. Follow me on Instagram at Lele Pons and check out my exclusive merch at lilshop.com. That is lilshop, L-I-L, shop.com. Talk to you next week. <laughs>